Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm an American living in Rome. In this video, I wanted to share with you my top three locations for beautiful viewpoints over the city. So if you're wanting to see Rome from a different perspective and a different vantage point, then this video is for you. Let's go. The first spot is the Orange Garden or Giardino degli Aranci. You can find it located on the Aventine Hill. The Orange Trees Garden is the name used in Rome to describe the Parco Savello. It's about 7,800 square meters and offers an excellent view of the city. The garden that you'll see today was designed in 1932 by Raffaele de Vico. It was constructed to offer public access to the view from the side of the hill to be added to the existing viewpoints in Rome from the Pincian and the Geniculum, which I will talk about next in this video. The garden, whose name comes from the many bitter orange trees, trees growing there extends over the area of an ancient fortress built near the Basilica of Santa Sabina between 1285 and 1287, which in turn was built over an old castle from the 10th century. The garden is bordered by a wall that once surrounded the castle, and other remains of the castle can also still be seen. The castle was later given to the Dominican Order from Santa Sabina, which transformed it into a monastery and a small park into a vegetable garden. The garden said is very symmetrical with a central avenue aligned with the viewpoint. The central square is named after a Roman actor, Fiorenzo Fiorentini, who for many years led the ongoing summer theater season in the park. The fountain at the entrance is made up of two separate pieces, a Roman thermal bath and a monumental marble mask originally carved to adorn a fountain built in 1593 by Giacomo della Porta. It was originally for a cattle market in the center of Rome. The next viewpoint in this video is the Pincian Hill or Pincio. It's a hill in the northeast quadrant of the historical center. It was outside the original boundaries of the ancient city of Rome and was not one of the seven hills of Rome, but it lies within the wall built between 270 and 273. The Pincio as seen today was laid out in 1809 to 1814 by Giuseppe Valadier. This piazza, Piazza Napoleone, is a grand open space that looks out over Piazza del Popolo. This was also laid out by Valadier and provides views to the west end of the skyline of Rome beyond. This is the view from the Pincian Hill overlooking Piazza del Popolo toward St. Peter's Basilica. point for this video is the Genicolo, Geniculum Hill. It is the second tallest hill in Rome. The tallest is Monte Mario. The Geniculum is one of the best locations in Rome for a scenic view of central Rome with its domes and bell towers, and it houses a Baroque fountain built by Pope Paul V in the late 17th century, Fontana dell'Acqua Paola. The hill is a short walk up from Trasevere and has an important history all the way back to ancient times. The Geniculum is also the site of a battle in 1849 between Garibaldi defending the revolutionary Roman Republic against French forces. So 
So those are my top three locations for viewpoints in Rome. I do have a few others that are more secret, so let me know in the comments if you're interested in hearing about where those are. And have you been to Rome? Please let me know down below. Have you been to these places and what did you think? Thank you for watching today's video. Be sure and subscribe if you want more content about Rome and my life living abroad in Italy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!